Okay? Ready na? Ready na po kayo? Okay, here we go. Food photography is lighting, nothing else, okay? Ngayon, ito ang, this is what I have set up. It's a soft box. It has, produces a nice, soft, quality, diffuse light, okay? Work po with one light so that you can see how the light works with your food. So color and texture. And I would like to think that's why yung mga clients ko, nag sa akin, because I can see the color, I can enhance it through the lighting and also the texture. Potante po ang texture. So we're now we're shooting the hot bibingka. So we, we got three pieces. I will choose the best one, the color and the texture, as I mentioned. So I will choose this one po. I will still use this. We can use this as a background. There are three items that you have to be aware of when you're shooting. Yung ilaw, okay? Yung camera angle, at saka yung food mismo. These things, you can move and they interact. Galing mo yung, yung, yung ilaw, move it around. Pati yung camera, ikot mo sa setup. Or galing mo up and down. And then the food itself, pwede mo ikot until you see a nice angle of the food. When the food is presented to you, mga ganon, don't just shoot it. Discover the angles, which one will work best for that product, okay? Some of my students, they always ask me, Sir, ano pa mag magadang angle? Wala, there's no such thing as magadang angle. It's because the food is different. Kaminsan po, tulad ito, the bibingka, it's lying down po. Sometimes we have food created by chefs, tumatayo po sila, they're standing up. So the angle of the camera also has to change. So, kunyari, this is what we're shooting. I cannot move the lights too much. Okay, we'll just put it here muna. Based on my lighting here, based on my lighting, iikot ko na lang. What, I, what, what I'm studying is, is the light, which is creating the highlight in the shadow. So, ito lang. Gawin natin to. Ikot lang, ikot lang. I think I will even bring it further a little bit. And more or less, this is it. I will give you some samples, some shots, on what it would look like if I'm shooting from here, 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 and here. I will shoot it about this low, okay? Just to create the drama. When I shoot in the studio po, lahat ang mga ambient lights are off. I don't want those lights to interfere when I'm shooting my food products. I need to see yung mga highlights at saka po yung mga shadows. Very, very important. Okay, so now, when I'm going to shoot this, we e off ko yung mga ilaw. We have ambient light lighting me. So now, let's have it off. Sige, off muna natin. Okay, when you turned off the light, nakita niya dito, may biglang may shadow. Okay, so now, we now are directing light, we are reflecting light. Now, notice, ha, it's already nakakabit na dito sa using the blue tack tape. Okay, so ganun siya. And all of a sudden, we have a beautiful light. Tapos na ako. I will shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. So now, what does this do? It blocks off light. Let's say that the setup, masyadong maliwanag, except for the product, which is beautifully exposed, beautifully lit. Pero yung mga, let's say, ko dyari ito. We want to reduce the light hitting this. So, we will bring the feather. So we're going here, po. This is a big setup. Kulang po ito. Kulang yung feather. So, I will just get my other board, but instead of reflecting light, I'll be blocking light. And this is how I will do it. So now, I am just blocking off light without interfering po dito. The blocking of light here, okay, from, from my main source, but hopefully, I will not hit, I will not create a put a shadow on here, okay? So, we're ready to shoot. Ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. This part creates drama. If you want super, super drama, tanggalin natin ito. Black this off here. Of course, there are other ways of really refining it. You have to refine the light 
in order, of course, to make it come out more. What would it look like if I just move the table? Ikot natin yung table. Dito naman ang ilaw, it will be coming from the right side. I will put the camera on this side, okay? So now, I'm just turning it around. Now, I will move my camera accordingly to where, to where uh, how I shot it. And it has a different look, po. It has a different look, a different feeling. So again, same thing. If you want a reflector, dito po, may shadow, dito, based on the light and all. If I put just a little bit of my reflector here, it's opening up the shadows. You don't want it put too much like this. Okay, it's too close and it's flat. What is flat? Walang highlight, walang shadow. I prefer a little bit drama, so what we do, atras natin to po. Oh, it's getting sexy, 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 sexy. Shoot. So pa? That's it. You have to know your lights. Shoot more. To shoot more, you will discover a lot more and then learn from your mistakes. Think differently, Paul. Huh? Said, think differently. Kung shoot kayo dyan, oh, okay, shoot. And then shoot differently. You will discover more things and newer things than before, okay? Thank you, Paul. Thanks for your time and enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.